If you go to work on your goals, your goals will go to work on you. If you go to work on your plan, your plan will go to work on you. Whatever good things we build end up building us. We all have 24 hours a day. Either you run the day or the day runs you. Therefore, you have to learn how to use your time wisely to achieve your goals. Each day, goal setting is powerful because it provides focus. It shapes our dreams. It gives us the ability to hone in on the exact actions we need to perform to achieve everything we desire in life. In today's busy world, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by lots of tasks and distractions. We're often told that multitasking is the way to go, but actually trying to do too much at once can make us less productive and successful. That's why we're here today to talk about why it's important to focus on one thing at a time and how it can make a big difference in our lives. I've been there, trying to juggle many things at once and feeling like I'm constantly falling behind. But I've learned that it doesn't have to be that way. By learning to concentrate on one thing at a time, we can actually get more done and achieve our goals more effectively. So if you're someone who often feels overwhelmed and scattered, know that you're not alone. And by listening to this message, you're already taking the first step towards taking back control of your time and energy. Let's dive in and explore five simple ways to focus on one thing at a time and ultimately achieve greater success in our lives. Let's kick off with number five. The fifth way to concentrate on one task at a time and reach your goals is by taking breaks. Now, I can almost hear you thinking, taking breaks. That sounds like an excuse to procrastinate and waste time. But hear me out, friends. Taking breaks isn't about slacking off. It's about recharging your batteries and sharpening your focus. In our fast-paced world, we're bombarded with information and responsibilities non-stop. We're expected to be on top of everything all the time. But amidst this chaos, we often forget to take care of ourselves. We forget to pause, breathe, and give our minds and bodies the rest they need. Here's the thing though, we're not robots. We're human beings. And just like any machine, we need maintenance to function at our best. That's where taking breaks comes in. When we take breaks, we give ourselves a chance to recharge and refocus. We allow our minds to rest and our bodies to relax. And when we return to our tasks, we're more energized, motivated, and focused. We can tackle our goals with renewed vigor and determination. But taking breaks isn't just about physical rest, it's about mental rest too. Our minds need time to process information, reflect, and come up with new ideas and solutions. Think about it. How many times have you been stuck on a problem, only to take a break and return with a fresh perspective and a solution? Taking breaks allows us to tap into our creativity and come up with new and innovative ideas. Let me be clear. Taking breaks doesn't mean being lazy, it means being intentional with our time. It means prioritizing our mental and physical well-being to achieve our goals in the long run. I know some of you might be thinking, but I have so much to do. I can't afford to take breaks. But trust me, my friends, you can't afford not to take breaks. I've been there, pushing myself to the limit in pursuit of my goals. But I've learned that taking breaks is not a luxury, it's a necessity. In fact, studies have shown that taking breaks can increase productivity and creativity. So if you want to achieve your goals, you must make taking breaks a priority. And here are some other tips to help you incorporate breaks into your daily routine. Firstly, schedule your breaks just like you schedule your tasks and appointments. Set aside specific times throughout the day to take a break. This will help you stay on track with your tasks and give you something to look forward to. By earmarking specific times throughout the day to pause and recharge, we not only fortify our commitment to productivity but also furnish ourselves with a tangible incentive to persevere through our endeavors. Indeed, the act of scheduling breaks imbues our daily routine with a sense of structure and purpose, ensuring that we navigate our responsibilities with clarity and efficiency. Moreover, adhering to a predetermined break schedule serves as a steadfast anchor amidst the tempestuous seas of our bustling lives. In the midst of chaotic deadlines and demanding commitments, the knowledge that a well-deserved respite awaits us at designated intervals instills a sense of calm and reassurance. 
It is this sense of anticipation that propels us forward, empowering us to tackle our tasks with renewed vigor and determination. Secondly, disconnect during your breaks. In this digital age, it's easy to get caught up in the constant stream of notifications and emails. But during your breaks, disconnect from your devices. Go for a walk, read a book, or simply sit and enjoy the silence. This will give your mind a break from the constant stimulation and allow you to recharge more effectively. Thirdly, do something you enjoy during your breaks. Use your breaks as an opportunity to do something that brings you joy. Whether it's listening to music, practicing a hobby, or spending time with loved ones, make sure your breaks are filled with activities that make you happy. And finally, be consistent. Taking breaks may feel uncomfortable at first, especially if you're used to constantly being on the go. But trust me, my friends, with time, it will become a habit, and you will start to see the benefits in your productivity, creativity, and overall well-being. Taking breaks is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of self-care and self-awareness. It's a way to ensure that we are able to achieve our goals in a sustainable and fulfilling way. In essence, let us heed the wisdom of scheduling breaks as an indispensable component of our daily regimen. By investing in moments of reprieve with the same reverence accorded to our professional obligations, we manifest a profound commitment to our holistic well-being and long-term success. Now, on to number four. The fourth way to focus on one thing at a time in order to achieve our goals is practicing mindfulness. I know what some of you may be thinking. Mindfulness. What does that have to do with achieving our goals? Well, let me tell you, my friends, it has everything to do with it. In fact, I believe that mindfulness is the key to unlocking our full potential and reaching our desired success. Mindfulness is about being fully present in the moment, without judging or getting distracted. In today's busy world, it's easy to lose focus amid all the noise and chaos. But practicing mindfulness helps us quieten the distractions and focus on what really matters. It helps us be intentional in our actions, which is crucial for achieving our goals. How does mindfulness help us reach our goals? Firstly, it makes us more aware of our thoughts and feelings. Often, we're held back by negative self-talk or limiting beliefs without even realizing it. Mindfulness lets us notice these thoughts without judgment and choose to let them go. Secondly, mindfulness keeps us grounded in the present. Worrying about the past or future takes away from what we can do right now. By staying present, we can give our full attention to the task at hand. Lastly, mindfulness helps us act with purpose. Instead of just going through the motions, we approach our tasks with mindful awareness, making every action count towards our goals. Another benefit of mindfulness is its ability to enhance resilience. Let's be honest, the journey towards success is often fraught with obstacles, challenges, and setbacks. However, by practicing mindfulness, we can develop the resilience to navigate through these hurdles with a calm and focused mindset. Mindfulness teaches us to accept the realities of life and approach challenges with equanimity. Instead of becoming overwhelmed by what's beyond our control, we learn to focus on what we can do to progress forward. Yet, perhaps the most significant way that mindfulness aids in achieving our goals is by helping us stay aligned with our true selves. In today's society, it's all too easy to get swept up in the actions of others and lose sight of our own path. However, through mindfulness, we can drown out the external noise and attune ourselves to our inner voice. By staying connected to our values, passions, and goals, we become less susceptible to external influences and remain steadfast on our chosen path. So, how can we integrate mindfulness into our daily lives? It begins with small, intentional actions. This could involve taking a few deep breaths before embarking on a task or stepping outside for a brief walk to clear our minds. It may also entail setting aside dedicated time each day for mindfulness practices, such as meditation, journaling, or simply sitting in silence. The key is consistency. By making mindfulness a regular part of our routine, with practice and dedication, it gradually becomes second nature, enriching our daily experiences and guiding us towards our aspirations with clarity and purpose. 
Now, let's move on to the third technique for honing our focus and achieving our goals, the Pomodoro Technique. You might be wondering, what exactly is the Pomodoro Technique? Well, it's a time management method devised by Francesco Cirillo in the late 1980s. The term Pomodoro is Italian for tomato, and it's named after the tomato-shaped kitchen timer that Cirillo used to track his work intervals. The concept is simple yet powerful. Break your work into manageable chunks of time with short breaks in between to help maintain focus and productivity. Why is this technique so effective, you may ask? Simply put, it shields us from distractions. One of the biggest hurdles in today's world, with constant notifications, social media, and various other distractions vying for our attention, it's easy to lose track of our goals. However, the Pomodoro technique empowers us to take charge of our time and focus, enabling us to direct our energy towards our objectives. Let's break down the process. First, select a task to focus on. Whether it's studying, writing, or working on the project, set a timer for 25 minutes, known as a Pomodoro session, and dedicate yourself wholly to the chosen task without any distractions. Once the 25 minutes are up, Take a five-minute break to relax and recharge before commencing the next session. Repeat this cycle four times, and after the fourth session, reward yourself with a longer break of 20 to 30 minutes. You might think that 25 minutes isn't enough time to accomplish anything significant, but it's not about the quantity of time, it's about the quality of time. Working within a limited time frame fosters efficiency and a sense of urgency, boosting productivity. Additionally, the Pomodoro technique helps prevent burnout by incorporating built-in breaks, allowing us to rest and rejuvenate. Some may argue that they don't have time for breaks every 25 minutes. However, consider this. Do you have time to waste on distractions and unproductive activities? We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and it's up to us how we utilize them. The Pomodoro technique enables us to maximize our time effectively and wisely. Consistency is key when implementing this technique. It's not a one-off solution but rather a habit to incorporate into our daily lives. By committing to the Pomodoro technique, you'll witness a notable improvement in focus, productivity, and ultimately success. So, embrace this method and propel yourself closer to your goals with renewed vigor and determination. I'm going to share with you three powerful strategies to help you eliminate distractions and stay focused on your goals. Firstly, we must identify our distractions. Before we can eliminate distractions, we must know what they are. Take a moment to think about the things that distract you the most. Is it your phone, social media, TV? Once you have identified your distractions, you can take the necessary steps to eliminate them. For example, if your phone is a major distraction, turn off notifications or put it in another room while you work. If social media is the culprit, set specific times during the day to check it and stick to those times. Remember, distractions are not just external factors. They can also be internal, such as negative thoughts or self-doubt. So, be mindful of your thoughts and learn to quiet your mind when needed. Secondly, we must prioritize our tasks. We live in a society that glorifies busyness, and we often feel the need to multitask to get everything done. But the truth is, multitasking is a myth. Our brains are not wired to focus on multiple things at once. When we try to do too many things at once, we end up not doing anything well. That's why it's crucial to prioritize our tasks and focus on one thing at a time. Start by setting clear and specific goals for each day, and then prioritize them based on their importance. This way, you can focus on the most important tasks first and give them your undivided attention. Finally, we must create a distraction-free environment. Our environment plays a significant role in our ability to focus. If we're surrounded by distractions, it's almost impossible to stay focused on one thing. So, it's essential to create a distraction-free environment, whether it's at work or at home. This could mean finding a quiet place to work, turning off the TV or music, or even investing in noise-canceling headphones. Also, make sure your workspace is organized and clutter-free.
A cluttered environment can lead to a cluttered mind, making it difficult to focus on the task at hand. My friends, I know these strategies may seem simple, but they are powerful. By implementing them in your daily life, you will be able to eliminate distractions and focus on one thing at a time, leading you closer to your goals. But remember, it takes discipline and consistency to make these strategies work. It won't happen overnight, but with practice, you will see significant changes in your ability to focus. Now, I want to leave you with a few final thoughts. As we strive to eliminate distractions and focus on one thing at a time, it's essential to remember that we are in control of our minds. We have the power to choose our thoughts and actions, and that's what sets us apart from other living beings. So, let's use that power to our advantage and stay focused on our goals. Now, the number one way to focus on one thing at a time is to create a to-do list. I know what you're thinking, a to-do list. That seems too simple, but let me tell you, this simple tool has the power to transform your life and help you achieve your goals in ways you never thought possible. First and foremost, a to-do list provides clarity and direction. When we have a list of tasks laid out in front of us, it becomes easier to prioritize and focus on what is truly important. It allows us to see the big picture and break it down into manageable steps. As the saying goes, a goal without a plan is just a wish. A to-do list is your plan for achieving your goals. But creating a to-do list is not just about writing down tasks. It is about setting specific, measurable, and achievable goals. Each task on your list should have a clear purpose and contribute to your overall goal. This will help you stay focused and avoid getting sidetracked by less important tasks. Another benefit of a to-do list is that it holds us accountable. When we have a list of tasks to complete, we are more likely to follow through and get things done. It serves as a constant reminder of what we need to accomplish and gives us a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment when we can cross items off our list. But perhaps the most powerful aspect of a to-do list is that it helps us manage our time effectively. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, but it's how we use those hours that determines our success. A to-do list allows us to prioritize our tasks and focus on what is truly important. It helps us avoid wasting time on non-essential tasks and allows us to allocate our time and energy towards our goals. Now, I want to address a common misconception about to-do lists. Many people believe that a to-do list is a rigid schedule that must be followed to the letter. But that is not the case. A to-do list is a tool, not a prison. It should be flexible and adaptable to changes in our daily lives. Life happens, and unexpected events may arise that require us to adjust our plans, and that's okay. The key is to stay focused on our goals and use our to-do list as a guide to help us get there. In conclusion, a to-do list is a simple yet powerful tool that can help us stay focused and organized as we work towards our goals. By creating a clear plan of action and holding ourselves accountable, we can turn our dreams into reality, one task at a time. So, if you're not already using a to-do list, I encourage you to give it a try. You might be surprised at the difference it can make in your productivity and success. Today's message is all about focusing on your goals. I understand that many of you may be feeling overwhelmed and struggling to stay on track with your goals. You may feel like you're the only one dealing with this, but I want to assure you that you're not alone. We've all been there at some point in our lives. But the good news is, by listening to this message, you can turn things around and get back on track towards achieving your dreams. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get distracted and lose sight of our goals. We get caught up in the daily grind and forget to focus on what truly matters to us. But I'm here to remind you that your goals are important, and they deserve your full attention. That's why I've put together five simple yet powerful ways to help you stay focused on your goals. These strategies have personally helped me achieve my own goals, and I'm confident that they will help you too. So, my friends, get ready to take some notes and get ready to turn your dreams into reality, starting with number five. The fifth way to stay focused on your goals is to eliminate distractions. Now, you may be thinking, Jim, that's easier said than done, and you're right. 
It's not always easy to eliminate distractions, but it's absolutely necessary if you want to achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life. So, why is it important to eliminate distractions? Have you ever tried to have a conversation with someone while they were constantly checking their phone? How did that make you feel? Did you feel like they were truly present and listening to you? Probably not. The same goes for our goals. If we're constantly distracted, we can't fully commit to them and give them the attention they deserve. Distractions come in many forms. It could be the constant notifications on our phones, the never-ending to-do list, or even the people in our lives who may not have our best interests at heart. Whatever it may be, it's our responsibility to recognize these distractions and eliminate them from our lives. Now, I'm not saying that we should completely cut ourselves off from the world and live in isolation. That's not the solution. What I'm saying is that we need to be intentional about how we spend our time and energy. We need to be mindful of the things that are truly important to us and prioritize them over distractions. One of the biggest distractions in today's world is technology. We live in a society where we're constantly connected, and it can be difficult to disconnect. But let me ask you this. How much time do you spend mindlessly scrolling through social media? How many hours do you waste watching TV shows that add no value to your life? Now, imagine if you took all that time and directed it towards your goals. Imagine how much progress you could make. I'm not saying that technology is all bad. In fact, it can be a powerful tool to help us achieve our goals. But we need to use it wisely. Set boundaries for yourself, limit your screen time, turn off notifications, and only use technology for specific purposes that align with your goals. Trust me, you'll be amazed at how much more productive you can be when you eliminate the distractions of technology. Another distraction that we often overlook is our own thoughts. Our minds can be a powerful tool, but they can also be our biggest enemy. How many times have you caught yourself overthinking or doubting your abilities? These thoughts can be detrimental to our focus and can prevent us from taking action towards our goals. To eliminate these distractions, we need to practice mindfulness and self-awareness. We need to be aware of our thoughts and recognize when they're hindering our progress. When you catch yourself overthinking or doubting, take a step back and refocus your mind on your goals. Remind yourself of why you started and the progress you've already made. Don't let your thoughts be the reason you give up on your dreams. Lastly, we need to be mindful of the people we surround ourselves with. The saying, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with, is not just a cliché. It's the truth. If we surround ourselves with negative, toxic people, people who don't support our goals, it will be difficult for us to stay focused and motivated. Now, I'm not saying that we should cut people out of our lives completely. But we need to be selective about who we allow in our inner circle. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who support you, and who push you to be your best self. These are the people who will help you stay focused and motivated on your goals. Now, on to number four, which is setting a timeline. I know what some of you may be thinking, why do I need a timeline? Can't I just work towards my goals at my own pace? And the answer is yes, you can. But let me ask you this. Have you ever noticed that when you have a deadline or a timeline, you tend to work harder and more efficiently? That's because setting a timeline gives you a sense of urgency and accountability. Without a timeline, our goals can become vague and distant. We may have a general idea of what we want to achieve, but without a specific timeline, we may never actually take the necessary actions to make our dreams a reality. We may procrastinate, make excuses, or simply get caught up in the busyness of life. But when we set a timeline, we give ourselves a clear deadline to work towards. We create a sense of urgency that motivates us to take action and make progress towards our goals. We become more focused and intentional with our time and energy, and most importantly, we hold ourselves accountable to the timeline we've set. Now, I want to share with you three key steps to setting a timeline for your goals. Step 1. Be specific and realistic. When setting a timeline, it's important to be specific and realistic. This means being clear about what you want to achieve and setting a timeline that is attainable. 
For example, if your goal is to lose 20 pounds, don't set a timeline of one week. That's not realistic or healthy. Instead, set a timeline of three to four months. This allows you to make gradual and sustainable progress towards your goal. Step two, break it down into smaller milestones. Once you have a specific and realistic timeline in mind, it's important to break it down into smaller milestones. This not only helps to track your progress but also gives you a sense of accomplishment and motivation as you reach each milestone. For example, if your goal is to save $10,000 in one year, break it down into smaller milestones of $2,000 every three months. This makes the goal more manageable and allows you to celebrate your progress along the way. Step 3. Write it down and review it regularly. The final step is to write down your timeline and review it regularly. This may seem like a simple step, but it's crucial. Writing down your timeline makes it tangible and serves as a constant reminder of what you're working towards. And reviewing it regularly helps to keep you on track and make any necessary adjustments. Now, I want to address a common misconception about timelines. Many people believe that once they've set a timeline, they're locked into it and can't make any changes. But the truth is, timelines are meant to be flexible. Life happens, circumstances, change, and sometimes we need to adjust our timelines, and that's perfectly okay. The important thing is to not give up on your goals, but instead adapt and continue moving forward. As we set timelines for our goals, it's also important to remember that progress is not always linear. There may be setbacks, roadblocks, and challenges along the way. But it's during these times that our timelines become even more important. They serve as a guide to keep us focused and motivated, even when the going gets tough. Which leads us into number three, breaking them down into smaller tasks. One of the biggest mistakes we make when it comes to setting goals is that we often set big, lofty goals without breaking them down into smaller, more manageable tasks. We get caught up in the excitement of our dreams and forget that the journey towards achieving them is made up of small, consistent steps. Let me ask you this. Have you ever set a New Year's resolution to lose weight, only to find yourself giving up after a few weeks? Or have you ever set a goal to save a certain amount of money but ended up spending it all because you didn't have a plan in place? This is because we tend to focus on the end result without considering the process that leads us there. But here's the truth. Success is not a one-time event. It's a series of small, daily actions that compound over time. And that's where breaking your goals into smaller tasks comes in. Think of it this way. Imagine you want to build a house. You can't just expect to wake up one day and have a fully constructed house in front of you. No, you have to start with a blueprint, then lay the foundation, build the walls, put on the roof, and so on. Each step is crucial in the process of building a house. And the same goes for achieving your goals. Breaking your goals into smaller tasks allows you to have a clear roadmap towards your end goal. It gives you a sense of direction and purpose and helps you stay focused on what needs to be done in the present moment. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. Breaking down goals into smaller tasks may seem tedious and time-consuming. But let me tell you this. It's not about the time it takes. It's about the progress you make. And trust me, the time you invest in breaking down your goals will save you a lot of time and frustration in the long run. So, how do you break your goals into smaller tasks? It's simple. Start by identifying the specific actions you need to take to achieve your goal. Then, break those actions down into smaller, more manageable tasks. For example, if your goal is to write a book, your specific actions might include outlining your chapters, setting aside time to write each day, and seeking feedback from others. Once you've identified your tasks, prioritize them based on their importance and urgency. Then, schedule time in your calendar to work on each task. This will help ensure that you're making progress towards your goal every day. And finally, track your progress and celebrate your accomplishments along the way. This will help keep you motivated and focused on your goal. In conclusion, staying focused on your goals requires discipline, determination, and a willingness to take action. 
by eliminating distractions, setting a timeline, and breaking your goals down into smaller tasks. You can stay on track and make steady progress towards achieving your dreams. So, I encourage you to take these strategies to heart and start applying them to your own life today. Remember, the journey towards success begins with a single step. Here's the revised version of the text in English. Dash dash dash. The first step toward achieving your goals is to have a clear understanding of your end goal. Define precisely what you want to achieve. Be specific and write it down. Once you have a clear goal in mind, break it down into smaller, more manageable tasks. Let's take the example of wanting to lose weight. Your end goal may be to lose 20 pounds. Instead of just focusing on that number, break it down into smaller tasks such as exercising for 30 minutes a day, drinking more water, and meal prepping healthy meals. These smaller tasks are more achievable and will eventually lead you to your end goal. Another important aspect of breaking your goals into smaller tasks is to set deadlines. Without a deadline, our goals can become vague and lose their sense of urgency. So, set a timeline for each task and hold yourself accountable to it. This will help you stay on track and motivated. But here's the thing, breaking your goals into smaller tasks is not just about making your goals more achievable, it's also about building momentum. When you complete a task, no matter how small, you feel a sense of accomplishment. And that feeling fuels you to keep going and tackle the next task. On the other hand, when we set big, overwhelming goals without breaking them down, it's easy to get discouraged and give up. By breaking them down, we celebrate small victories along the way, which keeps us motivated and focused on our end goal. Now, I want to address a common misconception about breaking down goals into smaller tasks. Some may see it as playing it safe or not dreaming big enough. But let me tell you this, there is no such thing as playing it safe when it comes to achieving your dreams. It takes courage and determination to set goals and work towards them, no matter how big or small they may seem. In fact, breaking your goals into smaller tasks allows you to dream even bigger. It takes away the overwhelm and allows you to focus on one step at a time. And as you achieve each task, you gain the confidence and belief that you are capable of achieving even bigger goals. Now, let's move on to number two, prioritizing your goals. We all have dreams and aspirations, big or small. Whether it's to build a successful business, travel the world, or simply be the best version of ourselves, we all have something we want to achieve. But the sad truth is that many of us struggle to turn these dreams into reality. We get caught up in the distractions and demands of daily life, and before we know it, another year has passed, and we are no closer to our goals. So how do we break this cycle? How do we turn our dreams into reality? The answer lies in prioritizing our goals. Prioritizing is not just about making a to-do list or checking off tasks. It's about understanding what truly matters to you and making a conscious decision to put those things first. It's about aligning your actions with your values and your long-term vision. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have so many goals and responsibilities. How can I possibly prioritize them all? And to that, I say, it's not about prioritizing everything, but rather prioritizing the right things. It's about identifying the goals that will have the biggest impact on your life and focusing your time and energy on those. So how do we do this? How do we prioritize our goals? Step 1. Define your goals. The first step in prioritizing your goals is to clearly define what they are. Take some time to sit down and think about what you truly want to achieve. Don't just think about superficial things like a bigger house or a fancier car. Dig deeper and think about the things that will bring you true fulfillment and happiness. Write these goals down and be specific. The more detailed you are, the better. Step 2. Evaluate your goals. Once you have your goals written down, it's time to evaluate them. Ask yourself, which of these goals will have the biggest impact on my life? Which ones align with my values and my long-term vision? This step is crucial because it helps you prioritize your goals based on their importance and relevance to your life. Step 3. Create a plan. 
Now that you have your goals prioritized, it's time to create a plan of action. Break down each goal into smaller achievable tasks and set a timeline for each one. This will help you stay on track and make progress towards your goals. Step 4. Say no to distractions. One of the biggest challenges we face when trying to prioritize our goals is the constant distractions that surround us. Whether it's social media, television, or other people's demands, there will always be something vying for our attention. But if we want to achieve our goals, we must learn to say no to these distractions. We must learn to protect our time and energy and use it wisely towards our priorities. Step 5. Review and re-evaluate. Finally, it's important to regularly review and re-evaluate your goals. As we grow and evolve, our priorities may change, and that's okay. It's important to check in with ourselves and make sure that our goals are still aligned with our values and our long-term vision. If they are not, it's okay to make adjustments and shift our priorities. I know that prioritizing your goals is not always easy. It requires discipline, focus, and a strong sense of self-awareness. But I can assure you, it is worth it. When you prioritize your goals, you are taking control of your life. You are making a conscious decision to live intentionally and work towards the things that truly matter to you. And that, my friends, is a powerful thing. Now, let's talk about the number one way to focus on your goals. It's a simple yet powerful concept that has the potential to transform your life and lead you towards success, creating a clear and specific goal. This may seem obvious, but you would be surprised at how many people fail to do this crucial step. They have a general idea of what they want, but they lack the clarity and specificity that is necessary for success. So, what exactly does it mean to have a clear and specific goal? Let me break it down for you. A clear goal is one that is well-defined and easy to understand. It is not vague or ambiguous. It is something that you can clearly visualize and articulate to others. It's like a destination on a map. You know exactly where you want to go. On the other hand, a specific goal is one that is well-defined and has a clear endpoint. It is not open-ended or general. It is something that is measurable and has a deadline. It's like a target. You know exactly what you are aiming for and when you want to hit it. Why is it so important to have a clear and specific goal? The answer is simple. Without a clear and specific goal, you will lack direction and focus. You will drift through life, going wherever the wind takes you. And let me tell you, the wind can be a fickle thing. It can blow you off course and lead you down paths that are not in line with your true desires. But when you have a clear and specific goal, you have a destination in mind. You have a purpose that drives you forward. You have a direction to follow. And that is the key to success. You must have a clear and specific goal to guide you towards your desired destination. Think about it. When you are driving to a new place, what do you do? You enter the address into your GPS or map and follow the directions. You don't just get in the car and start driving aimlessly, hoping to stumble upon your destination. That would be absurd, yet, that is exactly what many people do with their goals. They have a general idea of where they want to go, but they don't have a specific plan to get there. But my friends, I am here to tell you that a general idea is not enough. You must have a specific plan of action to achieve your goals. And it all starts with creating a clear and specific goal. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have so many goals. How can I make them all clear and specific? And to that, I say, focus on one goal at a time. Yes, you may have multiple goals, but trying to focus on all of them at once will only lead to overwhelm and lack of progress. Instead, choose one goal that is most important to you right now. This could be a career goal, a health goal, a relationship goal, or any other goal that speaks to your heart. Once you have chosen your goal, take the time to make it clear and specific. Start by writing it down. This may seem like a small step, but it is a powerful one. When you write something down, it becomes tangible. It is no longer just a thought in your mind. It is a physical representation of your goal. And that is the first step towards making it a reality. Next, make sure your goal is specific. 
Use the SMART method to ensure your goal is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This will help you create a goal that is not only clear but also realistic and achievable. For example, let's say your goal is to lose weight. A vague goal would be, I want to lose weight. But a clear and specific goal would be, I want to lose 20 pounds in three months by exercising three times a week and following a healthy meal plan. You see the difference. The latter goal is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. It gives you a clear target to aim for and a specific plan of action to achieve it. Now, once you have your clear and specific goal, it is important to keep it at the forefront of your mind. You must constantly remind yourself of your goal and why it is important to you. This will help you stay motivated and focused, especially when faced with challenges and setbacks. One way to do this is by creating a vision board. This is a visual representation of your goal and the things that inspire you to achieve it. You can also write your goal on a piece of paper and keep it in a place where you will see it every day, such as your bathroom mirror or your desk at work. Another important aspect of focusing on your goals is to take consistent action towards achieving them. It is not enough to just have a clear and specific goal. You must also take action to make it a reality. This means breaking your goal down into smaller, manageable tasks and working on them consistently. Remember, success is not a one-time event. It is a result of consistent effort over time. So stay committed to your goal and take action every day, no matter how small the steps may seem. Thank you.